Hi folks, welcome to lesson one, Health of an Infection with Precinct Science. Uh, today's lesson resources are on this slide. Um, have a read through and make sure you've got everything. Uh, if you haven't, then please pause now and go and get yourself organized. And then we'll start with some retrieval practice. Uh, now this is our first rich set of retrieval practice questions. This is B1 cell biology. So now's your chance to pause and do some retrieval practice. And then we have the answers. So you have a chance now to pause and write down or make some revision resources for anything you didn't know or what you got wrong. This is our second set of retrieval practice questions. So pause and do your retrieval. And again, we have the answers. So if you need to pause and revise, now's your chance. Our final set of retrieval practice questions are here. So pause and retrieve. And the answers to those questions are here. So pause and revise. Now, today's lesson looks at how pathogens make us feel ill. And you will need uh, several documents which are attached to Show My Homework. However, if you have problems either uh, accessing Show My Homework or printing in general, then you can simply take a book or some lined paper and copy down the questions and answers that we go through. So we're gonna use this document. Then we're gonna use this document, followed by this one. And then finally, at the very end, you're going to have a chance to go at these questions. So if you haven't got that stuff, I suggest you go and get it now. Otherwise, we're going to switch to the camera. Now, our first question today says, what is a communicable disease? And the answer to that question is a disease. that can be spread between organisms. A disease that can be spread between organisms. So essentially it's another word for an infectious disease, but this one is called a communicable disease. Different word, same meaning. What is a pathogen? The definition is this, a microorganism that causes disease. So a pathogen is a microorganism that causes disease. Now there are four types of pathogen, uh, bacteria, virus, fungi, and protist. Now, most people are fine with the first three. Uh, protist is a bit more uncommon, but we'll give you some examples now. So bacteria causes things like tonsillitis, Uh, which you've all had at some point. So that's the bacterial infection, our example. Viruses, uh, influenza, or commonly known as the flu. Fungi causes athlete's foot, very common disease. And malaria is caused by a protist. Uh, in, in this country, um, we don't talk about it very much. Now, there are three ways that a pathogen can spread. Those are through direct contact, so touching a surface or something which is infected. Uh, also, pathogens can spread through water. And finally, they can spread 
through air, which is obviously um, the concern we have at the min minute regarding uh, the spread of coronavirus. Uh, I'm going to switch now, rather than answer those last two questions, I'm going to switch now to a different document. So that basically those last two questions are saying, look, if we get an infection, um, why or how does the infection make us feel ill? I'm going to switch to uh, this document. You can do the same. Uh, what I'm going to try and do is explain to you how pathogens make us feel ill. I'm going to try and do that through pictures. So I'm going to draw some pictures. This is going to be a picture of a healthy cell. So simply, we used to draw diagrams like this. Here's the cell, um, the cell membrane. And then I'm just going to put a nucleus in it. So there's what looks like a healthy cell. And then I'm going to draw a picture of a burst cell. So I'm just going to imagine that that cell membrane just broken open there. And there's the nucleus is still in there. So that's my picture of a burst cell. And then I'm going to draw a picture of a damaged cell. It tends to when we get cell damage, the cell membrane will be the first thing which gets damaged. Hence, I've tried to represent that as a dotted line. So damaged cell membrane there. And then after that, you might end up getting damaged nucleus. So I'm going to draw it like that. And then we've got two words. The word pathogen, I'll give you a definition because you've done that already, a microorganism that causes disease. So if I draw a pathogen, it's just going to look like a rectangle. So that is the pathogen. So there's the pathogen. And then an antigen, it says a protein on the surface of a pathogen, a protein on the surface of a pathogen. I'm going to represent them as little triangles. So there they are. Uh, and then I'll just label that here as antigen. Now, finally, we've got the word toxin. It says a chemical released by pathogens that damages or kills cells. Um, and this is going to be a very simple picture, a little colored in square, it's going to represent our, our toxin. Okay, so I'm going to now switch to our third piece of paper, which looks like this, which is a what we call a flow map, or a, what we call a static diagram sequence, which shows us what happens in the process of pathogens making us feel ill. So I'm going to draw some pictures so you can draw them with me. Uh, so here, I've drawn a picture of a healthy cell, and outside the healthy cell, I've drawn the pathogen. Now, the first thing which can happen is the pathogen can gain entry into a healthy cell. So I'm going to write pathogen enters a healthy cell. So the pathogen enters a healthy cell. Then what might happen is this. So what we got here is that pathogen is copying itself. The replication, it's replicating itself and it does that by using the cell's mach machinery, so it's, um, its ribosomes and its mitochondria, etc. So here I'm going to write pathogen replicates 
copies inside the cell. Now this is typical behavior of a virus. So viruses won't be able to exist outside uh, of, a, of a cell for very long, but once they get in to a cell, they can use the cell's machinery to copy themselves. Now eventually, you can end up getting so many pathogens, viruses produced that cell, as you can see here, will burst. Obviously, if the cell bursts, then those viruses will be leaving that cell. And then they can infect neighboring cells. So here I'm going to write pathogen causes cell to burst. Okay, because that's worse. So that's one way that pathogens can make us feel ill. That cell death is associated with lots of other chemicals which are released, which cause a lot of inflammation. Um, and it makes us feel a bit grotty. The second way is a slightly different process. So again, I'm going to start with a healthy cell. And outside the cell, I'm going to place my pathogen. And then what happens is slightly different. pathogen starts to make toxins. These are sort of natural chemicals it makes, um, but they can be poisonous to certain cells. It releases those toxins, and obviously it will go into the healthy cells. So here I'm going to put pathogen releases toxins which enter the cell. Now those to toxins will build up and when they build up in and around the cell they cause lots of cell damage. So build up of toxins causes cell damage. Now, the last thing I want to do is go back to this document and answer those last two questions. So it says there, describe the two ways that bacteria make us feel ill. Uh, the first bullet point we're gonna put there is they produce toxins or can produce toxins. And the second one is They cause cell damage. That's the primary way by bacteria make us feel ill. Viruses, um, as we saw, do something slightly different. I'm going to write it here. Viruses reproduce inside cells, causing cells to burst. Okay, 
So we've covered everything I wanted to cover today. Your next task or your final tasks, there's two of them. One of them is just to do a little bit of embedding, a little bit of retrieval on what we've covered today. Primarily what's on this piece of paper. But you may want to backtrack over the pictures, the diagrams that we drew also. So that's task number one. Make sure you do it. Please do that embedding phase. And then the final task is to complete the practice questions. And remember those practice questions whilst they are I want to show my homework. Um, they're, also, they're also here. They're also further back in this video, so you can see them all. So you can, if you don't want to print them, if you want to do them straight from the screen, that's absolutely fine also. Um, now, I'll cover the answers to these questions in lesson two. So make sure you bring them to lesson two, which will be tomorrow's lesson. Um, until then, please work hard, uh, work efficiently, and I'll see you tomorrow.